G'day guys, how you going? So today we're going to be doing our next video in our RPA guides, looking at the ruler drop or reaction time RPA. Um, and as you can see, uh, Obama doing right here. All right, thanks Obama. So RPA structure, st same structure, main three things. What are we investigating? What is the method? And what would you expect to see? Okay, and so what are we investigating? We're investigating how does drinking caffeine affect reaction time? Um, the variables are our independent variable, the one that we change is if you drink caffeine or not. The dependent variable, the one we measure, is the distance it took you to catch the ruler. That's what we're measuring in this experiment, okay? Or reaction distance, as I might refer to it. Brilliant. Okay, so before we get into the method, I want to show you a couple of things here. So if you're doing the ruler and you can see the beautiful ruler just there, right? If you're looking at the top, the person who's catching the ruler isn't actually holding on to the ruler. You can see that there's a gap between the ruler and that person's hand. They're ready to catch it, but then they're, they're not actually holding on to it. Um, and you'll see that their thumb, this thumb just here, should be sitting at the zero centimeters mark, ready to catch it the second that ruler is dropped as fast as possible. Okay, and so how does it work? And you'll see from my stunning drawing on the right here um, how it'll work in a minute when we get there. Okay, so step one, get a ruler and a partner. Step two, one person holds the ruler from the top up here. They'll be holding the ruler up here, all right? And the other will hold their hands over the zero centimeter marks, just like I just showed you, okay? Ready to catch it. Um, step three, the person holding the ruler will drop it unexpectedly, catch it as fast as possible, and measure the catch distance and write it in the table. Now, with this unexpected dropping, it could be a long weight, it could be a short weight, it depends on how much you want to tease your partner, right? Um, step four, you're going to repeat this drop 10 times and you're just going to write your distance in the table each time so that we can calculate a mean later on. Uh, and so here we go. So let's have a look at this stunning animation. Ruler's dropped, he sends a signal to your hand and your hand catches it as fast as possible. You've grabbed that ruler, right? And what you can see is it's taken zero, one, two, three, four, it's taken you five centimeters to catch the ruler, okay? And that five centimeters is our reaction distance. That's what we write in the table. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, you're going to go into the experimental part. You're either, depending on which group you're in in the class, you're either going to drink caffeine or you're going to drink the same amount of water. And then you're going to wait five minutes to get that caffeine into your blood so you're nice and hyper. Hopefully this is towards the end of the class. Um, and then you're going to repeat the same experiment all over again. Ten drops and work out your reaction distance, okay? And so let's have a look about what this would sort of look like. So what would a set, so your results would look a little bit like this. Um, so we need to calculate, and you can see the results over on the right. You see our five and then six centimeters, seven, two, three, all of these, okay? But we need to be able to calculate this mean reaction distance before caffeine and after caffeine. To calculate a mean, three steps. Add up all the numbers you were calculating a mean for. In this case, basically add up the numbers in the column. Step two, count how many numbers you added together. In this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. Okay, uh, we're going to call this the number of points and divide the total by the number of points. Okay, so in this case, um, we've added up five, six, seven, two, three, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, five, etc. We'll get to forty-four. The number of points, well, there were 10 drops, so there's 10 points. So 44 divided by 10 means our mean catch distance before caffeine was 4.4 centimeters. And that's exactly what we put in the table just here. Do the same thing for after caffeine. Add them all up, 10 divided by 10 is going to be one centimeter just here, okay? Uh, and so the average catch distance after caffeine was one centimeter, much faster. All right. Okay, so you'd expect to see something like this. The caffeine speeds up your reaction time so you catch the ruler much faster. But the question at the start was how does drinking caffeine affect reaction time? But if you look here, we've actually measured reaction distance. So we haven't actually answered the question. We need to convert distance into time. Okay, to do that, we just use a conversion chart. So I'll step you through it right here. So before caffeine, reaction distance was 4.4 centimeters. Go over to the chart, four, means it's 0.09 of a second. Put that into our reaction time table down here. Jobs are done, all right? So now one, one centimeter, 0.045, 
chuck it in our table just there, Bob's your uncle. You've converted your reaction distance to a reaction time. And you can see before caffeine, reaction time was 0.09 seconds, after caffeine was 0.045 seconds, much faster, or a lower reaction speed, uh, sorry, a, a higher reaction speed, a lower reaction time. Okay, so here we go. In general, you would expect caffeine to decrease reaction distance, meaning that your reaction speeds were faster, i.e. you caught the ruler sooner. Um, the bigger distance is a slower reaction speed or time in this case, and a smaller distance when you caught the, if it was only one centimeters instead of five, it means you caught the ruler much faster, okay? And that's the rule drop RPA. Hope this helped, guys. Have a good one.